Hello and welcome to this Kerbal Space Program Let's Play video. We're going to be going over reentry heat and safe reentry corridors. Now, obviously, reentry heat isn't added to the game yet. That's going to be in 0.19. However, there is a fun mod available on Kerbal Spaceport that adds reentry heat and G forces. So, I'm just going to quickly go over three. Reentry configure or three reentry corridors. Two of them don't work. One of them does. So this mod, I'm assuming, uses an ablative heat shield. Um, you can see down in the left, the integrity goes down. Um, oh well, it'll go down in a minute. The longer you spend in the atmosphere, you can see my unshielded craft breaking up in the background. Actually, one of the neatest features is that of this mod is watching everything burn up around you that's not protected. So my periapsis returning from the moon I set to about 30 kilometers. So we're getting to that. Now without reentry heat, if you just want to minimize G forces, this is actually a good altitude. It will slow you down, you'll still arrow break in one pass, and your G forces are gonna stay really, really low. Unfortunately, with this particular mod, and I'm sure the official one will probably be a little bit more forgiving, if you spend too long in the atmosphere, your heat shield will burn away and your spacecraft will be destroyed. Even though low g-force, low rate of deceleration, the fact is you're in thick atmosphere long enough that you're just going to completely burn away that heat shield and die. So now, we set our periapsis to be, well, it's under the planet's surface. Essentially, we dropped directly from the moon directly to the planet. So this is pretty much going to be the max G situation, where we're headed straight from the planet's surface, essentially. Um, so we're not going to spend much time in the atmosphere. We're going to plummet straight through, but you can see the G-force quickly destroys the spacecraft. So if your angle of reentry is too steep, as we just saw, you'll be killed by G-forces. And if we managed to survive those, the reentry heat probably would have killed us. If you're too shallow, you're either going to skip back off into space, or you'll burn up. Your, your heat shield will completely burn up. So this time we set the periapsis to about 5 kilometers, just above the surface. I love that debris keep burning up in the background. That's got to be one of the funnest features of this mod. I didn't go into IVA for the video, but you can actually see this fire from IVA and it looks really neat in IVA mode. Anyway, you can see the G-forces are slowly climbing, but we're decelerating pretty quick. So we want to get slow enough, fast enough that we stop uh, generating heat, I guess, that compressed air in front of the spacecraft. We want to move slow enough so we don't generate that, because this reentry heat isn't caused by friction, it's caused by the air in front of the spacecraft not being able to move out of the way fast enough, it compresses. And that compression causes heating. So you can see the G-load got pretty high, but it stayed out of the red zone. And we're slowing down now, don't have to worry about heat. G-forces are leveling off and headed down. So it looks like we're going to survive this. So I guess the moral of the story is you don't want it to be too shallow. Particularly with this mod, because you'll just burn up or skip off. Uh, and you don't want it to be too steep, or the G-forces will kill you. Another bit for this particular mod is that if you open your parachute moving too fast, it will just tear off. Um, it, that's kind of in stock KSP, but it's a lot more severe in this mod. And that's not even using the hardcore mode, which exists. Uh, yeah, we're safely on the in the water. So that was this KSP Let's Play. Hope you enjoyed it.